the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. I never went to the surface, only the sky above it. The world is taboo to Mandalorians. We only came here when the Republic fleet gathered and we knew it was our only chance to stop them. I can't say I'm happy to be back here, but I believe we can do what must be done. You should not have come to Malakor. She will break you, your mind, your body. You will be lost. Return to the surface. Let the planet claim you, as it claimed the other Jedi. There is no reason for you to suffer at her hands. It is not mercy. What awaits you will weaken you. She will break you, as she did me. And you will no longer know yourself. You and her are alike, yet different in all the ways that matter. And I hate you as I hate her. I hate you because you crawl within my head as she does. But your presence holds no thoughts, no teachings. You are just... there. 
unspoken. I hate you because you are beautiful to me. And in that weakness lies death. Perhaps in that weakness is the death of my master as well. What it has always been, her weakness is you. The power of the dark side is what holds me together. Many times have I been near death, and always have I been in pain. She awaits on the Treus core in the heart of this planet, but you will never reach her. Turn aside then. Deny her what she wants. She'll accept my loyalty again, for she will have no other choice. It is ancient. A relic that survived the destruction of Malachor. It was always here. Far before the Mandalorian Wars. It draws death and hate to it. Channels it. Atrocities feed its power. And with its power, it creates hunger. Many Jedi have been consumed by it. It has been here for thousands of years. It is a place where the Sith teachings run strong. It is the threshold of the borders of an ancient empire. Kreia says it was a place of reflection for the ancient Sith. A gateway to their lands. It drew Lord Revan, and it calls to her as well. She said that the teachings here will lead one to the Sith, the true Sith, and all their shadowed worlds. This place led Revan to the graveyards of Korriban, and beyond. It does not matter. The Lord Revan had the galaxy at her feet. Could have made it strong. At the height of her power, she left this place. Fled this galaxy. Like you, Revan touched power and turned away. The chance to heal this fractured galaxy. And she turned away. I was there when the Academy on Korriban fell. And the Sith turned on one another, like beasts. Our chance at an empire, destroyed by Revan. You know nothing of her teachings. Nothing of the pain. You saw Malakor V and turned away. You turned away from power. She is a fool to see greatness in that. Then it shall be proof that you are not the one she seeks, and she shall accept my loyalty again. You're wrong. She respects power. I have come farther than any of her apprentices since Revan, and I am stronger for it. I am ready for you, Exile. I have waited years to see the last of the Jedi fall before me. Only one may serve my master. of this world flow through the cracks of my flesh. I cannot be killed.
strong, as strong as I had believed, but she knows you cannot defeat me. Surrender now. Return to the surface of Malachor. Do not force me to destroy you. If I am the weapon to be used against you, then so be it. But you will die, Jedi. Sealed your fate. I, I still have the power to stop you. The Force runs strong through the screaming canyons of Malachor. I can die a hundred times exile and still I will rise again as strong as before. Defeat me! Defeat me here! It is not possible to walk away from such things unscarred. To keep living when the universe dies around you. The Force is who I am. The dark side fills me. It is what I am. Kreia, she will try to break you, to teach you how far someone can fall. Her weakness is you, as you are mine. I am glad to leave this place at last. Last you have arrived is Malakor as you remember. You no doubt have many questions. I would be a poor teacher if I did not give you the answers you seek here now. I never destroyed Atris. She had destroyed herself. I merely stripped away the illusion and brought her truth. Her teachings could not be allowed to continue. And like Malachor, she was part of your past, unresolved. She needed to be something you could confront and defeat one last time. It was part of your training. Part of what was needed to make you complete. And there must always be a Darth Traer. The galaxy needs its betrayers, especially in the times to come. 
She loved you, you know, as one loves a champion. You were all that she could not be. Yes, it is all that is left unsaid upon which tragedies are built. More echoes traveling through the Force. More talk of machines and threats. If you would end Malachor, then do it. But it will not be a victory for you. And of course you must be willing to die. To kill us all. And your friends. You may hold Malachor in your grasp. But I hold the answers to your past and future in mine. Would you destroy us both before learning them? If so, then do it. For you have already failed me. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me, because I hate the Force. I hate that it seems to have a will, that it would control us to achieve some measure of balance when countless lives are lost. But in you, I see the potential to see the Force die, to turn away from its will, and that is what pleases me. You are beautiful to me, Exile. A dead spot in the Force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. I use it as I would use a poison, and in the hopes of understanding it, I will learn the way to kill it. But perhaps these are the excuses of an old woman who has grown to rely on a thing she despises. Yes, always. From the moment you awoke, I have used you. I have used you so that you might become strong, stronger than I. I used your death to deceive the Sith, to make them believe they had won, so they would turn on each other. I used you to keep the Lords of the Sith from condemning the galaxy to death with their power unchecked. I used you to lure them to Telos, where they could be at last fought and killed. I used you to reveal Atrus's corruption so that her teaching could be ended before it began. I used you to gather the Jedi so they could be destroyed. And I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. Perhaps you were expecting some surprise for me to reveal a secret that had eluded you, something that would change your perspective of events, shatter you to your core. There is no great revelation, no great secret. There is only you. No, there were not. In times past and in times future, there are Jedi who will stop listening to the Force, those that will try to forget it but maintain unconscious ties, and those, as in the past, just as I, who have had the Force stripped from them. But no Jedi ever made the choice you did to sever ties so completely, so utterly, that it leaves a wound in the Force. It was a mistake to try to make you feel it again. I see that now. There is no truth in the Force. But there is truth in you, Exile. And that is why I chose you. The Apprentice must kill the Master. If you do not, I will kill you. If I do not, then all you have achieved will be as nothing, as empty and as violent as Malachor itself.
If you do not kill me, I shall end you. Strike me down. End this. You will not show me mercy. I will see you break before you do. greater than any I have ever trained. By killing me here, you have rewarded me more than you can possibly know. It is your choice. I had hoped you would follow Revan's path, but you and Revan are different and your path is your own. You may take one of the ships that orbit Malachor and depart this place, or you may remain here on Malachor and wait for the others, those touched by the Force, who will come in time. Or you may return to your exile, where your presence will no longer affect the actions of others. There is no dishonor in any of these choices. I only ask that you make the choice without regret. Very well. There is nothing holding you here, not any longer. Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. The Republic will fall, as it always has. A fall that will take millennia under the care of the herds of Ithor. The surface of Telos will bloom again, and its golden fields shall again harbor scientists and thinkers. And complacent and peaceful, it shall forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to its skies. But it shall be a home world again to others who will stretch out across the galaxy and bring life. Dantooine shall survive. The community you saved shall be the foundation upon which Dantooine shall be habitable again. They shall drive back the raiders, the Mandalorians, and all that strike at the outer rim. The Republic shall again establish their presence there and shield it with its forces. And Dantooine shall heal, be safe, and its skies free. The ruins of the Academy shall remain. Nar Shaddaa shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before. Where once the lost and disposed were trapped there, now they will struggle and grow. From despair shall come hope. Queen Talia shall have a long reign. Much good will come of it. She will, as she has, rule wisely and well. Onderon shall remain in the Republic, and the world shall prosper, though its people shall, over time, lose their customs in the ocean of the Republic and become the people of Onderon no longer. Korriban shall be as it always was. 
a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords, still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia. It, like Malachor, brushes the edges of the Empire that waits in the dark. And like Malachor, the Sith have forgotten it. For a time, they will remember. Revan knew this. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know. The true Jedi, upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. She will stop hunting life and instead live it. She was not born to be a predator, despite her true father and the life she led within the shadow of Narshadar. She will miss you and think of you often. You who awakened her to what life is. She will live, but only for a time. Her death will occur in many years' time on a forgotten planet, saving the lives of others. But it will be her choice, and she will have no regrets. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. But you know this. They will die a death that will last millennia, until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and she shall look upon the surface of that world, and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. Her life has been changed by your meeting in ways that may not be felt for decades to come. Salvation is a relative thing, but as you understand it, yes. He cannot help but love you in his way. It is a pure, ideal love he holds, yet somehow it never dulls in your presence or through your actions. If he leaves this place, he will leave the galaxy behind him. He will sit upon the new council, reluctantly as all good men do, and he will not forget the Jedi who had lost the Force, yet showed him the way to reclaim it. After that, I do not know. I do know that you must leave him behind, the same choice that Revan made, where you are destined. You must not take anyone you love, and of the ones who traveled with you, that is all I see. Aten is, as always, the fool, and the Force watches out for one such as him, I feel as it does for the old, such as I. He is a fool, and that should answer all your questions. He has nothing to offer one such as you, and even a fool such as Aten is not so ignorant of that fact. I would have killed the galaxy to preserve you. I would have let the galaxy die. You are more rare than you know. And what you have taught yourself must not be allowed to die. You are not a Jedi, not truly. And it is for that that I love you. Their paths are unknown to me. Even the small one who waits for you outside this place. I sense it has one last journey for you. You must go where Revan did, into the unknown regions, where the Sith, the true Sith, wait in the dark. For the great war that comes. It is because she remembered what lay buried here, this place, its teachings. It paved the way to Korriban, you know, the remnants here. And because Malachor, like Korriban, is on the fringes of the ancient Sith Empire, where the Sith wait for us in the dark. Have we? You thought that the corrupted remnants of the Republic, the machines spawned by technology that Revan led into battle, were the Sith? You are wrong. The Sith is a belief, and its empire, the true Sith Empire, rules elsewhere. And Revan knew the true war is not against the Republic. It waits for us beyond the Outer Rim, and she has gone to fight it in her own way. 
and she left the Ebon Hawk and all its machines behind, for she knew she would not need them, and like you. She knew she must leave all loves behind as well, no matter how deeply one cares for them. Because such attachments would only bring doom to them both in the dark places where she now walks. It would have helped had she made him understand. But a hero of the Republic, no matter how brave, cannot understand war as Revan did. Because I did not know where she had gone. If she had asked, would I have gone? I do not know. But she will need warriors, Sith and Jedi. Any who can be sent after her into the depths of space for any who know the way. Perhaps you shall go there with her and do battle at the end of all things. Instead, I remained here and now show others the way. The Republic will fall as it always has. A fall that will take millennia under the care of the herds of Ithor. And complacent and peaceful, it shall forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to its skies. But it shall be a home world again to others. Need any company? I mean, I'm not doing anything. Besides, if I'm not around to bail you out of trouble, who knows what could happen? All right, then. Where are we going again? I mean, because last time we were heading towards this mining colony on the edge of space, and there was this Sith Lord, and... Thank you. 